Hey everyone, I'm Larry Chen. I'm a car culture and automotive photographer. I travel the world taking pictures of the coolest cars, the coolest races, the best builds, and honestly, the best personalities in car culture. I got into the world of photography just from a love of cars. I grew up in Southern California and it's only natural for us young males to get into cars. I, I wasn't uh, very good at car stuff except for taking pictures of them. So I kind of continued that path and then now 19 years later, I'm here. Pretty much right out of high school, I just started working. I got into computers, I was a big gamer. And while it was a lot of fun, it was just so much work and it was really not my passion. As time went on, I just started kind of paying my way to go to all these events and I started taking more and more pictures of cars. And maybe 10 years into kind of paying my own way and trying to prove myself, I finally was able to do it full time. And since then, it's just been such an incredible journey. I've shot thousands of cars over the years. It's really tough to say one stood out over the other, just because uh, every car is special. But I definitely have to point out Ken Block's cars, you know, being able to capture so many of his amazing builds over the years really elevated my photography and I think also my status in the industry. Being able to, I guess, have the responsibility of showing off these vehicles to the world really meant a lot to me. I, I never intended to be in front of camera ever. You know, I'm actually pretty introverted. I don't feel like I want to be in front of the camera, but uh, it's just one of those things that I have to do now. It's something that has evolved to this point. I just um, always just wanted to take pictures of cars. I love cars. I love the, the shapes. I love the colors. I love the texture, the emotion. There's just so much about a car that speaks so many volumes. It's not just a method of transportation for me. It's something that brings the community together. And as you can see today, this meet, it's crazy how many people came out just to kind of hang out with other like-minded JDM car enthusiasts. The car scene in Singapore is pretty incredible. I was here almost about 10 years ago for the first time and I really wanted to check out to see what the car scene was like. I was so blown away just learning about all the hoops and just everything that you have to go through just to enjoy these cars, to modify them, to obtain them, to drive them on the street, everything, COE, all of those things really just gives me inspiration because, you know, a lot of times we like to complain about how, how hard it is to enjoy car culture in Southern California. It doesn't hold a candle to what you guys have to deal with in Singapore. This time, especially checking out the local car culture, checking out the collections, the builds, it really elevated my, I guess, my perception of what was possible in Singapore when it comes to cars and car culture. So I have an R32 GTR, and I feel like getting something like that wasn't really settling on a certain car. It's just one of the cars in my JDM journey. When it comes to a car like that, it's more of the looks, the feeling that it gives me, just the, um, I guess the time machine aspect of it, you know, being able to get into a vehicle that was ahead of its time, but also something that came out in 1990. And me being able to enjoy that car all these, all these years later in its current condition, it's very interesting, you know, it's something that I think about all the time and I really enjoy being able to drive a JDM Classic in, in Los Angeles. My big piece of advice for up and coming photographers and videographers 
and content creators in general is just to shoot what you love. Whatever your passion is, whether it be JDM cars, European cars, whether you're into food photography, weddings, nature, birds, whatever you want to take pictures of, just go all in. If you really truly love it and you want to make it your job and you want to make it something that you're able to do every single day, then just pour your heart and soul into it. I've made so many sacrifices to get to this point and I definitely do not regret it. I'm just so happy to be able to do this every single day for fun and for my passion.